Germain, near the French Channel port of Saint-Nazaire, a truce flag temporarily arrests all fighting. Saint-Nazaire's German garrison meets with Americans to discuss terms for evacuation of 12,000 French civilians from the city. Americans, along with the FFI and Spanish Republicans, have the Nazis blocked off, and the city is short of food. The French Red Cross takes charge. Every day, a trainload of Saint-Nazaire civilians, according to the agreement, will be evacuated. Every day, hostilities will come to a three-hour halt. The first train pulls into Cordemay, the neutral halfway mark in the refugees' trip. German troops escort the train this far. Now they leave to return to Saint-Nazaire to resume their regular duties. French troops arrive to take over the train. They are a welcome sight to the newly free passengers whose city was bypassed by the Allied D-Day armies and has been held by the Germans uninterruptedly for almost five years. Now, guarded by their own soldiers, the refugees are returned to their own people. The train resumes its journey. The refugees will find temporary homes in Chantenay, near Nantes. Along the French coast, 145,000 Germans still hold six important ports, but their power to resist grows steadily less. Thank you.